Felicia Show, where extraordinary people say extraordinary things. Felicia gets to the bottom of paternity disputes again. We are not trying to dramatize this. We're trying to educate people about paternity tests. I know it is children. Since Zelda was five months pregnant when we split up. Pastor Malloy uh, says he's not sure if it's his child. It's David's child. Yeah. You're convinced that's David's child. Yeah. Paternity results are accepted correct. It gets hot in studio. You can't afford to miss it. Thank you. Thank you. I like that smile. Welcome. It's time again for a show on paternity. We received so many calls after our last show from couples who were disputing the paternity of their child. Let's go back to that show and catch some interesting moments. Angry, you know, yeah, maybe is... From our previous shows on paternity, Elise fell pregnant before she married Martinez. She is sure it's his child. Just saying that it's still his child, it doesn't matter what he said. How does Martinez feel? Some of her friends actually told me that she says I'm stupid and that I'm uh, paying for a kid that's not mine and all that. Is he the father? The DNA uh, results, uh, the probability of you being the father of the child is 99.9997%. How do you feel, Elise? Very hard, so. <laughs> and then there was a second child. After a one-night fling with Elise, Hansi said, I didn't finish the deed. Do you remember that night? Yeah. And you did not finish the deed, huh? No. What do you mean by the deed? <laughs> I mean, we were into a flat and we started in the course, but I haven't finished, I didn't finish. It seems he did finish the deed. According to the DNA data, uh, the probability of you being the father of the child in question is 99.9999. Woo! <laughs> that is even better than... Then there was Leslie, who was adamant that after spending a torrid Christmas Eve with Dennis, she fell pregnant with his child. I said you didn't have a relationship. That's true. But, uh... I mean, it doesn't take a whole year to get pregnant, right? Five minutes is all it takes, and we had it. Do you think you are the father? Uh, nope. You don't think you're the father? I don't think I'm the father. Are you sure you did not have a relationship with somebody else no. before him? No. What do the okay, DNA results the say? Uh, DNA data, you are excluded as the father of the, of the child. Whoa. Whoa. Um, not sure what else to say. I mean, exclusions are usually very 100% accurate, yes. How good? <laughs> this can't possibly be. We got a number of calls and emails congratulating us for handling such a contentious subject with so much sensitivity. Again, let me repeat, we are not trying to dramatize this. We're trying to educate people about paternity tests. What are they? that there is a way to find out if this is really your child or not your child. Today you will meet fathers who are adamant the child is not theirs, as well as a mother who is confident the father is not the biological father of her child. Thanks to Gene Path Laboratory for providing free paternity tests to our guests. Our first couple are disputing the paternity of all three of their children. Zelda, you say the boy, who is three years old, and your twins, who are one-year-old girls, are Charles' children. Yes, Felicia. But Charles says it's not his children because I, I went with another man and married another man. And he's not paying maintenance? No, he's he not. Because he says they're not his children. No, he's not. Mm. And, child, you say that she, they're not your children, why? Zelda said, no, this uh, child is not actually yours, he's somebody else's child. And you say she was buggering around, huh? Yeah, she to... left me while she was pregnant to go, if I can make call it, joining with this other guy from Vereniging. Mm. So after that, uh, she came back to me and claiming, yeah, now this is all of a sudden my child. So, OK, if this is my child, register him to my name. Okay, now, she went. Every time I ask Zelda, please, why not? No, sure, because for, for reasons I don't want to discuss with you. Mm. If they are your kids, you really don't even care. 
Uh, yes, Felicia, because I wasn't part of their life since uh, pregnancy. I don't see why I must be part of their life now. And you want to give them up for adoption if they are your children? Yes, that's Come true. On, child. No, that's true, Felicia, because I feel at this stage I don't want to know them. And as I feel, um, according to my knowledge, I don't think Zella is actually a fit mother to provide for them, as though she's not had, had her own jobs. Does your, mom, own... does your mom love the children? I don't care, Felicia. I'm sorry for that. And uh, I, don't, I don't feel it is um, a thing between my mom and my, myself and Your Zelda. Grandmothers are so good. Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are when they like to, yes. Mm. When they like to. But, um, but your mom, I think, thinks it is your child. Well, that's my mom's problem, it's not mine. Aren't you depriving your, your mother of these children if they are yours? Um, Felicia, what my, um, the past couple of months... You speak happened, for yourself too, girl. What the past couple of months happened is uh, um, since this argument, this fight started, I said, no, nah, I don't have uh, time for backstabbers. Because my you mother... Call, you calling your mom a backstabber? Yes, yes because yeah. why? Felicia, like, listen to my story, first of all. Um, my mom said there's no place for her, for Zelda in her home. So, yes, I went on to that. So, just all of a sudden on a Thursday evening, I received a message from my mom. Uh, Zelda is here, and uh, please do not make uh, any mess about it, a fuss or something. So, um, at the following day, it was on a Thursday, the Friday, I, I called my mom, I, actually on the Are Thursday. You wait, let's get you, put, leave your mom out of this now. Uh, are you remarried now? Yes, I am. Is that the reason why you're so anti-Zelda? No, and I'm not. Too Lynette, honest. are you willing to talk to us? Yes, yes, can, I am. Can you talk to us? Do you think these are Charles' children? Um... To start from the beginning when I met Shaw, we were very open and honest with each other as from the beginning. Um, we met on a dating service and because we didn't, uh, we didn't know what each other looked like or each other's personalities, we spent a lot of time talking. And he confessed on the first day to me that he already had one child that he knew was his and I believed him. Mm. I was told about Zelda and the, uh, the little boy. Um, but he told me also the complete story. And I, thought, I, I kept myself totally neutral to this. With this whole family fight that came out, um, I told him, we go with the flow, we see what happens. Mm. Um, but if it is his children, I can do nothing about it. If it is not, um, I can't say I will be happy or I will be sad or anything because it's not my decision. The only thing that I know is if these children are forced upon us, that I know we will not be able to provide for them, as we are not even able to start providing for our own child that is on his way. Well, uh, all I'm saying that if they are his children, won't you pay maintenance at least far away? Um, Felicia, like I... I and I know um... you say you can't afford it. You know, if they <laughs> are his children, you might have to take on two, three jobs. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to... Figure yes, um, as I, um, Zelda sued me for uh, maintenance, and uh, um, I think as a magistrate, I, I wrote him a, fa a letter and I faxed it to him and said, yes, I am prepared to pay, um, not contribute, as I can call it like that. I want to contribute close mm -hmm. to the children. OK, let me do this. I want to do this. I want you to just think about it, both of you. Zelda, is there something you want to say before I go to a break? No, I really know that it's his children, so I don't care. I know I'm right, so... And what do what He was you more than to happy to make them, but to, to help raise them, and then now he want to run away. I want you guys to do this for me. Just go and think about it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the results are. I'm just concerned that we have two adults here. Charles, you've made your mind up regardless. You, I mean, you make statements like, um, I really don't care. He's angry at the way in which he's been messed about or around. Yes, um, that's true. You said Felicia. the situation is upsetting his new wife. You're more worried about you and your new wife, not about the welfare of you his see, children. Felicia. I want to give them up for adoption. Yes, Felicia, that's true. Don't answer me now. I want you to just go and think about it. I'm going to talk to another couple. Okay? Okay. Thanks, Amelia. 
After the break, a daughter who saw our show and told her father she wants her paternity resolved. <laughs> Is it your child? Uh, Felicia, I'm not sure. It's David's child. Yeah. You are convinced that's David's child. Yeah. Sick and tired of crime? Why so many acts committed by vigilantes? What are the answers? We want to talk to victims and perpetrators who want to reform. Enough is enough. Call us right now on 011-476-8411 or email felicia at iafrica.com. The Felicia Show, where extraordinary people say extraordinary things. Can Felicia reunite a man who's been living without his family for 40 years? Dad, if you're watching this program, please, could you get hold of me? What happened after Sinet met her biological mother, Shirley? Harrod reunited with his biological mother, Dolly, after 25 years. How did the adoptive and biological mothers take it? Don't miss the most emotional reuniting stories next on Felicia. Paternity disputes are a very serious issue and we are helping out couples to resolve any questions couples might have. Amelia's 15-year-old girl saw us advertise a show on paternity testing and asked her father to phone in so her paternity dispute is resolved between her mother and father. Pasta? Yes, uh, Felicia. I mean, people heard me say pasta. <laughs> yes. Pasta is sitting there. Yes. Is yes. it your child? Uh, Felicia, I'm not sure because of the complication of uh, many things in life when I was together with the mother. Yeah, you say together. you found a letter in Amelia's bag from another man. Yes. And you think the child belongs to that man? Yes. Yeah, it was after, after three months the child was born. So uh, uh, Amelia was not at home. So. Uh, what were you doing in her bag so, after three months and you're a pastor? So, Felicia, at that time, I oh. was living my life. We were having a business, actually. And so well, I think at that time, I was looking for money, so, you know. In uh, your wife's bag? Yes, of course. We are transparent, you know. I'll kill my husband. <laughs> really. We're transparent. So, but I, I, I just find Papa on that letter. And when I read that letter, it was from another man requesting the child. Amelia, whose child is it? You're a beautiful woman, I must say. Tell the boy, Whose child is it? Who are David Molloy? It's David's child. Yeah. You're convinced that's David's child? Yeah. He took her to legal wise to stop her from bringing the child to him because? Felicia, I, I, I'm a married man. And so normally, uh, we wait for a long time for the for petting test together, but financially we couldn't make it. So. And all you want is a maintenance from him, is that all? Yeah. You don't want him back? Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Just maintenance? Yes. And he's not paying maintenance? Yes. The, f the first thing, uh, besides that uh, I'm maybe not sure that it's my child, and then I think I could maybe try my, my, my best. Because if it is your child, what will you do? Yes, I will try my best to take care. Because, but although I'm not, I'm an unemployed person. I'm a pastor, and at the same time, I'm living by the donation. Oh, and I thought you said you're living by collection. Yes, I'm living by by donation. <laughs> you know, and the donation you can't exactly know a month a month end how much are you going to receive. Wait, 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 wait. Now, 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 let's move on to another <laughs> subject. Here. When you say you're living by the do by donation, are you talking yeah. about the collection that I collect in church? Yes, uh, the, the, my congregation, though, they must take care of me. I'm a full-time pastor. And uh, they understand how important of me to, uh, to uh, they have me. It's a favor from God for having me, to keep my time and, you know, giving them whatever they need for the spiritual life, physical life. So I'll, I'm there. I'm so how much are you asking for monthly? Okay, Pastor, 600 a month, you should say. Uh, Felicia, I don't even sometimes have it even monthly. Is your wife here? No, she's not here. Mm. Yes. How does she feel about this? She, Felicia, for many years, about 12 years, I'm married for 12 years. And this thing was all, uh, trying to hunt me. As a, a person, you know, who I'm serving the community, I find that I'm not uh, maybe 
and flee to come here and maybe to speak out because yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you don't solve your past, they will hunt you. Even mm -hmm. can be a bishop or somebody that up there, they okay. will hunt you. What I'd so, like to do is thank you for doing something that I always say is so difficult to get black people to do is to come and talk publicly. Yes. Because we don't like to air dirty linen in public and because we always say, what will people say? It is true. But, and we appreciate you coming on yes. the show to talk. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Well, let's find out. If yes, this is, Are you anxious? But Felicia, really, when even when she asked about 600, 400, I, I don't end that man. I don't have it. Oh, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it. But uh, Felicia, I'm not running away of taking care of a child if the child is mine. I'm not running away. Even my wife, she's not a bad person. That, uh, maybe she won't support me. You know, you yes. I, I, I got, uh, I got, uh, I'm married. I'm, I got three children, and really, Felicia is a. You might have to have a second wife. You're customary. Ah. <laughs> As I pass, I have, I have to stick to one wife. <laughs> yes. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I must stick to one wife. <laughs> and really Why are you laughing? Oh, I'm just laughing, Felicia. Because what's the matter? You know because can't see it. You know him, eh? <laughs> yeah, Felicia, you know, she knows me. Oh, and actually, oh, me, he, he likes me, women. Me, Felicia, you know. Yeah. He likes women? Oh. Felicia, oh. I was, I was. <laughs> Felicia, so, I was. So you've reformed, Pastor? Yeah, I, I'm reformed and totally reformed. I'm the, you know, I'm somebody now, really. Uh, I'm honored by many people, and many people I are coming to the kingdom of God because of my life I was living there. Well, past. let's see if we can vindicate yes. you. I don't know. Yes. Gail, please join me. Gail, maybe you should come and sit with me. I don't know, just in case. Uh, <laughs> they smack me. They smack you there. Yeah. What are the results here? First, tell us about Jean Pep. Okay, GenePath is a genetic diagnostics laboratory. Uh, we specialize in prenatal diagnostics as well as molecular diagnostics and paternity testing. We are also involved in a lot of uh, leukemia diagnostics as well. Mm. We really appreciate you coming in and Thank you. giving us these results, but are they usually 100% accurate? They are so accurate that the courts accept it. These specific re results are used um, internationally in the forensics department as well as in our forensics department mm. here in South Africa. Okay, let's hear the results because Pasta Muloy is worried. He's worried about paying 600 rand a month. All right. Because uh, the collection is not enough. No. <laughs> I'm going to read to you a result. It says the alleged father. Malloy David is excluded as being the father of the child. Do you understand what that means? What that means, Felicia? What does it mean? Explain to him what it, it means. It means that you're not the father of the child. Okay. Thank you. How do you feel? Are you shocked? Felicia, uh, you know, you know that, 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 that child loves me so much, and that's why she was hunting me mm -hmm. all these years, mm -hmm. coming to my house, mm -hmm. and also my wife, she take care of him, baby, giving her something, because she wanted that we must come to this point where mm -hmm. we'll know. But uh, what I want to say, I feel bad, Felicia, Felicia, but I thank the Lord because now it's over. But uh, what I would like to say, because for her sake, because she's, she's just a child. She was not there mm -hmm. in the involvement many years ago mm -hmm. when I was living that life, reckless life, together mm -hmm. with her, her mother. So mm -hmm. she must feel free. Mm -hmm. She must feel free to, you know, to Continue come to Continue the me. relationship yeah, you have. With me. Yeah, with me. It's a very, very important thing, Felicia. You give her love. Yeah, I'll give her love and also because take care of her. Mm -hmm. When she needs some advices in life, I'm the pastor. I can do mm. counselling. And... Well, I'm I'm happy um, you've been vindicated. Yes. Again, you are a pastor, yes. and people expect a lot from you. Yes. Okay. After the break, we will be hearing from Zelda and Charles. Bye stories again in um, a suburb of Janus, south of Johannesburg, telling the whole street that I'm not the kid's father. 
Are you a recovered male or female gambler who wants to talk about how your addiction affected your family and your life? Or are you a present gambler who needs help in escaping your addiction? Call us right now on 011-476-8411 or email us at felicia at iafrica.com. The Felicia Show, where extraordinary people say extraordinary things. For more information on The Felicia Show and our guests, visit www.feliciaonline.co.za. Well, we're talking to Zelda and Chow about the paternity disputes they are having over Zelda's three children, a son three years old and twin daughters one year old. Anything that you resolved? Anything you talked about? Did you talk? It's all about communication. Um, Felicia, no. I'm sticking with my decision as it was before. Since Zelda was five months pregnant when we split up. Why and you do I, this? Be, I put it in brackets because that was a rumor. In, was in spread to me. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, um, Zelda was by stories again in um, a suburb of Janus, south of Johannesburg, telling the whole street that I'm not the kid's father. Um, since Zelda got married to this guy, and uh, um, she claimed at that stage this was his kids, she was supposed to stick with this guy and live with it. Zelda, you're just shaking your head. He never came to me and asked me. Oh. He went to my mother. He is going on all stories. Everyone's telling me, but he never came to me and asked me. So how can he say that it's from me if he didn't come to me and ask me? Well, Felicia, I, I, since I, I, I got these rumors, I said, OK, this is behind me. I put it in behind me. I'm going on with my life What now. are you hoping for? Um, Felicia, for the best. That's what I'm helping, hoping for. And what's the best? Um, any which way but lose. That's my motto, and, it was, and I will stay with what it. What do you mean, any which way but lose? Any which way These but lose. These are children. Felicia, I made my decision. These are lives in the On the 24th of August, 2001, I told Zelda, if you move out of my flat... Oh, no, uh, we were, sorry, we were staying with her uh, um, sister and her brother-in-law. I told her, on that exact date, if you move out of this room, then this whole relationship, everything is out. No more, nothing. I'm going on with my life, and then you must go on with your life. Mm. Was there any violence in your relationship? Verbal. Uh, we had uh, arguments, yes. And uh, 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 body arm, nothing. Mm. OK, let's find out the results. You say you don't even want to talk about it because you know they're his children. Well, let's start off with Zelda's three-year-old child. Is Charles the father of the three-year-old son? He's the alleged father, Charles cannot be excluded as being the father of the child, and his probability of paternity is 99.99056%. So, and you knew that? I, I didn't say it wasn't my child. OK, let's hear about the twins. Do you think the twins are yours? I'm not sure. Now you're not sure? Yes, you're I'm not sure, now. You were confident before. Yes, I'm confident that they're not mine because of the stories. Mm. Because of the stories, I said, there's it. Are there twins in your families? My mother is a twin. I'm my father. Mm. OK. Well, let's find out. The alleged father, Shaul, cannot be excluded as being the father of the child. And your probability of paternity there is 99.98523%. Mm. Well, someone is clapping hands there. Grandmother. Is the grandmother. Oh, grandmother. What's up, grandmother? You OK? Well, it might be one child only, it might be one twin only. <laughs> Let's find out about the other twin. Uh, the alleged father, Shaul, cannot be excluded as being the father of the child, and your probability of paternity there is 99.9993%. You have three children. Well, Felicia, three uh, children couldn't... that you need to take responsibility for. Yes, like I said to, in, a, in, in a letter to the maintenance, I'm prepared to... Give them clothes. You're not giving them up for adoption? I will, in future, see 
But as far as now on national TV, I don't want to be part of their life. I'm not going to give them my name. I want to know, salt, nothing. Via by mail, I was sent their clothes to them. Come on, child. Felicia, I made my, my decision. Actually, Zelda made it for me. On the 24th of well, August... You know, your mom is clapping say, hands there, and I know she problem. does not want to talk, but I, I hate to tell you, I'm going to get you to talk now. You're very happy that this turned out this way, and it's understandable um, as a grandmother. Do you just want to say something now that you know the results? I know it was a little difficult before you knew the results. Don't be shy to the world. It's a gift from God. Mm. Shots are sent Don't to try and please anybody. It's your children mm. and, and my saying, grandchildren. And who are you saying this to? I'm saying this to anybody who wants to listen and anybody who wants to take it to heart. Are you sure this won't bring you guys together now? Not Especially at all. you and your mother. Not at all. I've moved on with my life, Felicia. And I'm sticking with my decision as from the day I made it. Zelda, what are you going to do now? What's the way forward? Um, I'm still going to the court for maintenance because that is my children's right. Mm -hmm. It is hard in the world. I've got three children. I, I've got a man that, that, that I'm living with now and he's looking very children. nice after the children. But it's not his children. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have to take responsibility for that. Mm. It shows responsibility and he must take it, I'm sorry. Mm. It's my children, I want the best for them and I will get the best for them. Mm. Even if it have to be fight, by fighting. And if he says that I'm not a fit mother, he can't prove it. Until he proves it, he can't say anything about me because I'm the one raising those children for three years now, mm. not him. Now, Charles' uh, wife, Lynette, am I right? Yes. You are a woman. Put yourself in Zelda's shoes. What would you do? Well, you first of all, um, what I would do is if I had a relationship with a man, whether married or not, and I felt pregnant, I wouldn't run off with the next man that came in walking by the door, which is the logical solution for me. I was raised to believe you have a relationship with a man, you stay with him. If you have his children, you stay with him, you raise your children. Um, uh, there, there are things that I've heard um, that I cannot agree to because according to the principles I was raised, a woman is not supposed to, to behave like that, which um, maybe just becomes, uh, comes in to show that maybe Zelda's standards and my standards are very different because of the, the areas that we have been raised in. Mm -hmm. um, but yet about the children, they are not my blood, they are not my children. Um, if Shaw can't provide for them with his money, I am refusing to pay out of my pocket for something that is not mine. I can see something ultimately happening to this relationship because of all of this. I'm worried. No, I don't think you're supposed to be worried because, as my wife said it before, we were honest and true, truth really, from the start. And as my wife is standing behind me, I will stand behind my wife. Okay. Thank you. Thanks again for your story. Really appreciate it. Yeah. And appreciate your coming here and uh, for going, in, going to take a paternity test. Please hear the results. 99.999, whatever. Okay, Charles. Thank you, Felicia. Zelda? Thank you. Thank you. After the break, a mother who is a exasperated that an ex-lover won't believe he is not the father of her child. <laughs> Norman is the opposite. It's not my mom, it's his mom. Yeah, by the way. Yeah, that's why I understand. Oh, guys. I feel like that over. Yes. I feel like that over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Why are you hugging him like that? <laughs> Why were you hugging him straight after this? It's moral support. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, I've always been a person if... Um, no matter what they... <clears throat> it's OK, it's sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm a bit emotional because I'm pregnant. <laughs> um, 
It doesn't matter what the outcome, who is guilty, who's not guilty. I always believe to support somebody. And um, because I fought so hard for this relationship, I believe to stand behind my man 100%. And I show him support and love every minute and every step that we go. How long have you guys been together? We've been together now for almost um, 11 months and we've been married for four months now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to mess up her makeup now? <laughs> <laughs> I know that he can't be the father because I was already pregnant when um, we sort of started having a relationship again. Do you suffer from a very rare disease such as Huntington's disease, Tourette's or Noonan syndrome or other very rare diseases that cause people to stare? How are they affecting your life and your family? Call us right now on 011-476-8411 or email us at felicia at iafrica.com. Felicia, where extraordinary people say extraordinary things. We'll be recording three shows on the 13th of July, Gambling Addiction, Rare Diseases and Vigilantes. For your free tickets, please call 011-476-8411. Remember, tickets are limited, so please call soon. Well, we are sorting out paternity disputes. This is a strange twist to the usual paternity dispute where the mother is desperate to have the father acknowledge the child is his and pay maintenance. But this time around, Leone phoned us and in desperation, she says, he is not the father of my child. This is her ex-lover, Michael. She says, he is not the father, but Michael is adamant, he is the father. Anyway, <laughs> but why that. isn't he here? I mean, he really wanted to come. I don't know. Um, I actually uh, um, went around his house, went by his house, um, because he was going to follow us here. But when we got there, nobody was home. We tried to phone and the phone went on voicemail. Do you think it's his child? No, I don't. Why don't you think it's his child? Because, um, okay, Michael and I have quite a history. I know, um, we have known each other for, what, um, 11 or 12 years. And um, we have had an on-off relationship, but um, you know, I know that he can't be the father because I was already pregnant when um, we sort of started having a relationship again. As I said, it was on-off for quite a while. Mm. It's very, um, it's not something that I really want to discuss, but you know. mm. Let me get this right. He says, he one proof he has mm -hmm. is the fact that the child has the same birthmark as his mother and his grandfather mm. and his grandmother. Well, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I've I've never seen his mother's thigh before. Can that <laughs> can that prove uh, be any proof? All I can give you are the facts mm -hmm. as I see it mm -hmm. from the results of the DNA test. We, but we are, it's unfortunate we can't give you the results unless no, we have that. Michael here. No, that's fair. They mm. have to be released with him here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Michael, we're coming to check you out and talk to you about this. I'm here at Gene Path Laboratories in Pretoria with Leonie. We did arrive today to do an insert with Michael to give them both the results, but unfortunately Michael hasn't arrived today. So we are going to be giving the results to Leone shortly. Why are you so certain that um, he is not the father of the child? I know because um, at the time I fell pregnant, Michael wasn't, was working in the Cape province. So I wasn't with Michael at that time. And um, when I was with Michael, um, I was already about eight weeks pregnant. So um, I'm quite sure. I'm not doing this to um, put anyone down, um, but I just, I don't want people to think that I'm the bad guy, um, that I, I'm keeping Michael away from his daughter, because that is not the case. If Michael was the father, I would have said so, and I would have um, let him have a relationship with her. 
Gail, can you please give us the results of Leonie's daughter? Is or isn't she Michael's daughter? I'm going to read you what it says. It says the alleged father. Michael is excluded as being the father of the child. Good. <laughs> Where to from here? Well, um, I actually am going to get um, in touch with her real father and um, take things from there, slowly but certainly. Put the microphone Hmm? Abigail then went to look for Michael at his home in Ritfontaine, hoping okay. to find him there. We've just arrived at Michael's house, so we have come to surprise him. We hope that he's here. We are going to be giving him his paternity results. Let's Abigail go. is about to give Michael the paternity test results. What will his reaction be? So, what happened to you today? Leonie, please come through. What happened Work to you? Again. Work again? Work again? But we tried to phone you and you didn't answer your phone. No, I left my phone in the truck. And you couldn't call us to let us know. Oh, sorry. And we haven't had a chance to ask you already, you know, how you feel about the situation, why you think it's your child. Do you want to let us know? No, it's not that I think it's my child, just... You said you did? No, uh, there were things... I thought with my child and everything. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't know. What did you want from Leone, Michael? I don't know, a friendship. Uh, a while ago, there was something between us. Mm -hmm and they just went away, and I would like that back. If it's still needs my child, it's not my child. Doesn't matter, I just want her friendship back. And if it's not your child, do you still want contact with the child? No, why not? Okay. I want to see Leah, I still want to see her. Yeah. Don't have any problems with that. Okay. As I said, we have given the test results to Leonie already. They do show that you are excluded as being the father of Leonie's daughter. So now everybody knows. Which means, unfortunately, you are not her daughter's father. It still doesn't matter with me. Well, at least you know. Oh, now we know. At least you know. I still stand there. I still want to be friends with her. Mm -hmm. It's not my child. I would have liked that. After the break, the legalities and medical advances of paternity tests. If they were born out of the marriage, he only has obligations to maintain. He has no rights. Can Felicia reunite a man who's been living without his family for 40 years? Dad, if you're watching this program, please, could you get hold of me? What happened after Sunet met her biological mother, Shirley? Harrod reunited with his biological mother, Dolly, after 25 years. How did the adoptive and biological mothers take it? Don't miss the most emotional reuniting stories next on Felicia. We've been speaking to couples who have had the results of their paternity tests revealed on the show tonight. Let's see. Just a quick recap here. We first had Amelia and Pastor David. Amelia says her daughter is David's. He says he's not sure. The alleged father, Malloy David, is excluded as being the father of the child. Zelda has three children who she says are Charles. He's unsure about the first child but denies paternity of the other two. The alleged father, Charles, cannot be excluded as being the father of the child and his probability of paternity is 99.99056%. And now the paternity the results for the twins. You cannot be excluded as being the father of the child and your probability of paternity there is 99.98523%. In an unusual turnaround, Leonie is denying that Michael is the father of her child. Michael says he is. I'm going to read you what it says. It says the alleged father. Michael is excluded as being the father of the child. Gail Vermark from Gene Path Laboratory is here again to talk to us about paternity testing. How accurate is it? Is it absolute, you know? And we have attorney Nizel Palmer from the People's Family Law Clinic who will fill us in on the legal implications. Can it stand in a court of law? This actually ex accepted this good argument that modern technology can assist the court um, with high, on high balance of probabilities that the paternity, re paternity results are accepted correct. When is a father not held liable? When it's at 50? 
No, it drops down to about 95% as where the courts won't accept it, where, where all his alleles do match. But the results we get are generally, and most of the time, above 99.9%. .9%. Just talk to us a little bit about some of the legalities. Obviously, Charles says, uh, you know what, I don't have money and I'm not going to be able to support three children that I just found out are all mine. What happens? And you have a desperate mother who says, you have to pay support. Well, in terms of our law, there is responsibility of both parents to support the child. So, mm -hmm. But this responsibility is linked to the, their means, their financial means, in order to, con to make contributions. Mm -hmm. So the court will have to assess what is going on in that particular parent's financial affairs mm -hmm. and then also determine how much it costs for the child to, to live on a daily basis. Thereafter, afterwards, they will determine how much he should contribute. Mm -hmm. What happens where a father has been paying maintenance and then ultimately finds out the child is not theirs? Well, it depends. Um, if this was a court order in existence prior to the, the DNA test or paternity test taken, normally the father can take steps in order to reclaim mm -hmm. what was lost. Yeah. Chow, you're quiet now, huh? Yeah, no, Felicia, I'm just recapping now and uh, see what's going to happen in future. I just want to ask them a question. Are they married in communal property or not? We could not get the paperwork out of community done before the wedding. But it was arranged and the, the, the magistrate told us that we could change it to um, out of community as soon as we can get the lawyers to get the paperwork done. So oh. you're in a rush to do that now? No, what, what, what is happening is why we were going to go for out of community is my husband has been blacklisted before we, we were married. And it is in order to keep my name clear. Mm. Oh, it's not because of this No, it was not because okay. of this. Quickly, when a paternity test is taken, how long does it take for the results? In our laboratory, five working days. We do have a service where we offer an express paternity that can come out within 48 hours of mm. receiving the samples. Mm. And That's how accurate is that? Absolutely as accurate as any other DNA paternity test we can do. Oh, you just have people working overtime. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do do tests where we test only the father and the child. These tests do not stand up in court. So for, for a true and honest result, you need the father and the mother? No, you, and you the can. Child. Uh, you can do it on the father and the child only. The courts just uh, want the mother present as to exclude her 50% of the DNA mm. so that you can make even a, a higher probability of paternity um, with the father. And also because of for identity purposes, yeah. mm. identification purposes. Something that also came up. Charles said something about giving the children up for adoption. Can he do that? The father wants to give the child up for adoption, is that the The thing? three children, mm -hmm. he said, if they're not my, if they are mine, mm -hmm. I want to give them up for adoption. Mm -hmm. If they were born out of the marriage, he only has obligations to maintain. He has no rights. He mm. doesn't have rights of access to visitation rights. And he has no, he does not have the right to make decisions as to their religion or education. Only the obligation to maintain. That's all that's on That's him. not fair to fathers, though. Well, in terms of um, the new development, he can acquire access rights and rights on guardianship, joint mm. guardianship with the mother on application to the High Court. But due to our common law, if the children were born out of wedlock, all these, the, the rights concerning custodian rights and the right to make a decision where so they're going to school and mm. so forth, rest with, with the mother, mother the custodian wow. parent, yeah. Mm. Well, women are powerful, huh? Well, they do give birth, you know. <laughs> well, he gives a sperm. <laughs> Takes two to tango. Well, I can't argue that. <laughs> well, I really would like to thank you again. No, Gail, you. Nizel, thank really you. appreciate it. And I'm really happy they asked us to call you. You're very good. Thank you so much. You're thank unbelievable you much. as well. If you don't mind, it's People's Family Law Center and not clinic. Oh. People's Family Law Center. You got it? And tell us about it. What do they do? Do they help people resolve their cases for free? No, unfortunately <laughs> not. Um, we ask a nominal fee, mm -hmm. but we do assist clients with bringing applications regarding maintenance, divorce, access, um, custody applications. That is what we do at the People's Family Law Center. Mm -hmm. And we 
also prefer or we encourage people to settle these matters in the mediation um, department mm. rather than proceeding in court. Mm -hmm. Because it can, like, as you can, as you have seen, it can become quite emotional. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that can just distort the, um, the reason for pursuing to go to court. Okay. Say so thanks to all our guests who are brave enough to come onto the show and share their innermost secrets. Charles, are you okay now, my man? Always oh, okay, Felicia. <laughs> Until next time. I love my hugs. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. You were so good. What? Thank you, man. We can go out this way. For more information on The Felicia Show and our guests, visit www.feliciaonline.co.za. Leone sent us a letter after this recording saying, Thank you for helping me to resolve my paternity issue. I hope it'll make others aware that you can do something. I'm glad I did it. Although I knew Michael was not my daughter's father, I must admit that I was nervous about the results.